Hey, Mark Davis here. We're going to talk about fishing with a drop shot. A drop shot started in Japan. It's a very simple technique, usually done with a spinning rod. You can use casting equipment, but most people prefer spinning rods. So this is uh, different ways to rig it. But what I have here, that, that is a Strike King half shell. And I've got, it, I've got it nose hook, as you can see, with just a little drop shot hook right there. On 10 pound test line. And then here's my tag, and there's my drop shot weight. That's a Strike King tungsten quarter ounce drop shot weight. Now, when you're fishing in small mouth, large mouth, spotted bass, it doesn't matter. You get really bright, high skies, very little wind, fish get hard to catch. This is a go-to technique. And it's, it's become so popular, uh, so many ways to fish with a drop shot it's really good in deep water it's equally effective in shallow water uh, with forward vision uh, electronics it's probably the number one technique uh, for catching fish that you can see on your electronics so whether you're casting to them or fishing vertically you know in deep water uh, a drop shot is just a it's just a, a dynamite way to catch fish it's so subtle it's the ultimate finesse technique. It's all about, to, to me, it's all about the rate of fall. Yeah, I've, I've got a quarter on here. A lot of times you want to go, if you're fishing shallow water, you want to drop down to an eighth. By the same token, if you get out deeper, you know, you may want to go to a, to a heavier weight to get to the bottom. But think about this. In clear water, smallmouth, they're, they're visual feeders. So a drop shot rig that falls slow, a lot of times that's, you know, that's, what, that's what you want. So what I'm talking about rate of fall is how fast that lure sinks to the bottom. And they, they'll see it, they'll come to it, they'll, they'll, they'll go down on it and they'll eat it off the bottom. Probably the biggest mistake guys make when fishing with a drop shot is they they tend to overwork it and what i mean by that is doing a lot of twitching a lot of jerking all this stuff uh, the harder these fish are to catch the less action you put on it the more bites you'll get so you're basically just holding it more times than not if you do a lot of a lot of twitching with it uh, that's not the way to get them to bite more times than not, just letting it sit in one spot still and not don't put a lot of action on it. I'm talking about uh, drop shots again, I'm talking about the equipment. I, and I mentioned uh, spinning tackle. I like braids. So this is 10 pound test uh, Strike King Tour braid. And I will, uh, I will splice, I'll get to my knot. So right there's my splice knot, which is an FG knot and I'll splice eight or ten pound test fluorocarbon onto that tin and and you can you can vary that you know you don't always have to use eight or ten uh a lot of times you can use even 12 even 15 pound test uh, for for your for your leader of course the heavier line you know obviously you know you, you, it's a lot more forgiving but in real clear water so many times uh you know, it, it takes that smaller diameter line to get bit. So if you're, you know, if you're using 12 or, or 15, you know, and you're not getting a lot of bites, drop down to, to eight or seldom do I go to six, but six will work. You just, you know, six pound test is not, it's not a lot of, that's not much. So you've got to be, you've got to have the right rod. So the rod I like is a seven foot medium heavy, and that's a lose. That's a seven foot medium heavy, loose custom. And uh, I've got it paired up with that Hyper Mag spinning reel. And you can see my braid on it. So that's my setup for the drop shot.